Hey, what's up, everybody? It's me, your hero, Benjamin Banks, from the Love Up with Benjamin Banks podcast. And we are here at Greenville Comic Con, and we are standing next to the tyrant himself, the Banners. How you doing today? The mad tyrant. That's the mad right. tyrant. Saw, don't kill me. I'm sorry. No killing today, and I won't snap you. Okay, thank you. Thanks, Hey, so how long did it take you to put this ensemble together? Come on. Yeah, come on. Uh, probably six months. Nice. It looks good. Thank you. Thank you. It looks good. So, go ahead. Yeah, so, is this your first cosplay, or is this just something that you did for this year? No, I did the earlier version. I did Thanos at uh, Isaac Heroes at Infinity War. Okay. Oh, okay. And then I decided to upgrade him to uh, the in-game version. Yeah, nice. I also do uh, Jason Voorhees. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. Yeah, you got the size for Jason Voorhees. <laughs> so, so those, those are the two I do. Now, have you ever met any of the actors who played Jason? I met, um... Yes, King Hodder. King uh, Hodder, yes. I my, met favorite, my favorite of all time. Yes, yes, he's really nice. Uh, funny story, I met him in the bathroom, and I was cosplaying as a horror villain, and he was just like, that's something that you don't walk into every day. So, in the bathroom? In the bathroom, so he was really nice. But yeah, you have the size for Jason, man. Like, if I saw you running around here with a machete, I'd be scared. I mean, I'd be, should be. I mean, I'd be scared. I mean, you got the double sword. I mean, so. The double blade. You gotta be scared of that too. Oh, for sure. Hey, I'm just, I'm sad for this. I'm happy that he doesn't have the Infinity Gauntlet because if he did, with one snap, we'd all be over. This thing I don't have. Easy with that. Yeah, it's easy. Okay, so uh, when you're not cosplaying, what is something that you like to do in your free time? Cosplay. No. Nice. Hey, that's a good answer. <laughs> have a bowl of cereal, dress it up. Have a bowl of cereal, dress it Yeah, that's it. <laughs> A good walk around the neighborhood. <laughs> yep. Just have a good time. No, it's pretty time with family. Of course, you know, family's place to eat. Uh -huh. oh, nice, that's, that's nice, nice, nice. And I like to watch my own movies, so. Nice. <laughs> That's a good start. That is a good start. So, good start. before we let you go, uh, tell everybody in social media land where they can find you. They can find me at uh, on Facebook as The Titan, and also as The Crap Killer for Jason Voorhees. That's right. Cool, cool, cool. Thank you, Thanos. You're welcome. It was awesome interviewing you. And uh, like we always say, keep that pinky up, stay positive. We'll see you next time on Leveling Up with Benjamin Banks. Peace. Hey, what's good, everybody? It's me, your hero, Benjamin Banks, from the Level Up Benjamin Banks podcast. We've got my co-host, Rebellious D23, with me. And joining us right now is Miles Morales himself, Spider-Man. How you doing today, man? I'm doing all right. Hey, I'm doing awesome. We're here at Greenville Comic Con right now. We're having a fun time. This is our cameraman's first time here. He's having a fun time. And uh, how did you get into comic Uh, I started in 2018. Uh, one of my friends took me to the Galaxy Con for the first time. That was like my first con. And then she was like, I'm cosplaying. And I was like, huh? <laughs> she was like, you going to do it too? I was like, uh, I don't know, because I was like, I've never done it before. But this is actually my first cosplay. Oh, yeah, that was nice. Oh, yeah. Uh, Even down to the shoes. Bro, I was going to do, I was going to do Tucson for this one, but my little sister was there. So I just, I was like, I had to go my back up. Um, but yeah, this is how I got into it. Eventually, I want to go into making my own. Nice. That's what it's always about. Because it's like you can purchase your own cosplays, but it takes a lot of time and energy to make your own. And I feel like when you make it yourself, it's it's like uh, like drawing soul, man. It's heart and soul. Like you're putting everything in. Like so, cooking So when you make like your first very own cosplay, like what are you thinking about doing? Uh, I was thinking about doing a character from Manji. 
Um, I'm still debating it's either doing that one or I was gonna make my own like Conway and Kuzo one, like actual like being sold and all that stuff for it. Nice. Yeah, that's awesome, man. So let me ask you this last question. When you're not cosplaying, what are some of your hobbies that you're into? Um, usually I'm you know, film games. Uh, I like building computers and stuff like that. Nice. Um, yeah. So it is a good hobby. It's nice. Yeah, it's, 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 yeah, Miles. I mean, that's what Miles Street say. Uh, yeah, the street say, hey, somebody, <laughs> hey, somebody got to do it. Some black lightning gone. Oh, yes, yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So before we let you go, let everybody in social media land know where they can find you. Um, you can find me on Instagram. Uh, you can also find me on Facebook. Uh, typically, it's uh, Avius Regalion on my Instagram. Uh, that's you can find me. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Thank you for letting us interview you. You know where you can find us up. I love my Benjamin Banks crew. Keep that pinky up, stay positive. Peace. good everybody it's me your hero benjamin banks from the love and love benjamin banks podcast and we have right here with us professional wrestler actor the stro this man is amazing he's a nice guy i've met him several times before and it was awesome to run into him here at greenville comic-con stro how have you been oh great man i'm really, I'm really busy with uh, tv and film i'm just doing wrestling you know, nice. time and time oh, oh. Uh, a lot of stuff going on. I just wrapped a film called uh, The Devil is Water. Harlow Quinn Origins Story that'll be out uh, this Halloween. Nice. And that stars Dr. Arkham in nice. that film. So, and then uh, later on, we'll set for the fourth season of uh, the Dust series, which I star as the chief. Nice. Which you can check out on YouTube all three seasons. And uh, sure. a lot of, I'm talking to the pilot, uh, miniseries, and all that. So, a lot of exciting stuff happening. Yeah, staying busy, man. Yeah. And that's what it's all about. Because if you're not staying busy, then you're not doing anything at all. You know what I'm saying? Right. But yeah, hey, we appreciate having you up here. When you're not wrestling and when you're not acting, what yeah. are some of the things that you like to do in your free time? Well, uh, going to get events like this, Comic Cons, conventions, uh, seminars. Uh, yeah. Matter of fact, I, I just got inducted this year's uh, Carolina Wrestling Hall of Fame. Nice, congrats. So that's really cool, man. That's uh, awesome. Thank you so much. Yeah, just really blessed. How about the uh, like Dev Program, uh, Chills Verbal Network, uh, like you know, schools and Chills Hospitals, that type of thing, and give back to the community. That type of thing. So that's nice, that's awesome. That. That's awesome. Hey, well, you guys heard it here from the stroke first. Before we let you go, tell everybody in social media land where they can find you. Oh, here's the get out. I'll make it easy for you guys. There you go. Okay. Take a real good look. I'm, I'm on That's all right. this and then some. Oh, right so, there. Uh, yeah. That's a long list. That's a long list. Yes. And you know where to find them at. Right. Yeah. That's all. Awesome. Right. You, you can't miss this face. <laughs> right. And with that being said, you know where you can find us at. Keep that pinky up. Stay positive. We'll see you in the future. Nice. I saw it. That's all. So joining me right now is David Thompson, yes. and he is the author of Supreme Beings and Supreme Beings Weapons of the Spirit, which is the sequel. Now, Damon, tell everybody that's watching right now, like, how did you get into writing? Well, I got into writing um, at an early age. I used to play a lot of PlayStation games, create characters. So uh, as I got older, I just wanted to put those characters in books. I didn't see any representation of myself when I was young, so I made that a uh, focal point into uh, creating the Supreme Green series, which is very character-driven. Uh, it's a good versus bad theme, but uh, it's very, I would say, spiritual in a sense. Um, we have a lot of fantasy, a lot of fiction, powers, and all that good stuff, man. I can ramble on, but... I know. know, that's awesome, man. <laughs> and, you know, like... I I agree with you when you say that like there's not really a lot of representation yes. when you look at characters. I mean like and nowadays you do see some sort of representation, but it's still small compared to you know everything that's out there. Right? Like just looking at your character, who's your main character? Okay, so with this this book, he's actually not the main character, but I wanted to kind of make people read it to me. Once they read it, they identify it's very character driven. Uh, but this character right here, his name is Breeze. He has the power to manipulate water. And if you see, he's part in the ocean, sort of as Moses in the Bible story. But uh, he uh, he's illuminating the power with his purple purple aura, I would say. And this, if you look close, there's a uh, there's a shock that plays an interesting oh, yeah, word yeah. in that part. But uh, that's actually in chapter eight, that that entire scene. But that character name is Breeze. 
story of part three was going to be based on a character named Lauren, which will be uh, in third book. Nice, nice, nice. Well, thank you for letting us interview. Thank you. Can you tell everybody in social media land where they can find you? Absolutely. You can find me at Damon. Excuse me, DMT Books. That's D M T B O O K Z. Um, and Instagram, Facebook, all over there. Awesome. Thank you for letting us interview you. You. Yep. you know where you can find us at Leveling Up with Benjamin Banks. Thank you. you have a nice day. It's awesome interview. You. Thank you. Thanks again, everybody, for watching another episode of Leveling Up with Benjamin Banks. Make sure you like, follow, subscribe to the channel podcast. We got that, too. Make sure you give us a thumbs up and hit that bell for further episodes and notifications. Thanks a lot to our patrons. And if you don't mind, join the Patreon. We'll be having new specials coming up soon.